Hi, I'm Dr. Ellis Orozco, and thanks for listening to this video podcast. I hope you have a great weekend. Hi, and thanks for listening in. Uh, well, it's the new year, and so I've started uh, this kind of attempt at a diet and exercise. Well, almost started, right? I mean, I had a cookie today, but tomorrow I'm starting the diet and exercise thing for my New Year's resolution. So hopefully each week you'll see me getting thinner and thinner on these uh, weekend Bible studies. But I wanted to talk a little bit about that idea of the discipline of getting things done that you've committed yourself to doing. Uh, it's a big part of New Year's resolutions or any kind of goals that you set. But I wanted to apply that to the Christian life. What it looks like to live your Christian life with strength uh, and discipline. I like the idea of, of practicing uh, Christianity. Uh, practicing being a follower of Jesus Christ. That word practicing is interesting to me. The, the legal profession uses it. The uh, medical profession uses it. You, you talk about a, a lawyer practicing law or a, a, um, a doctor practicing medicine. Why, why do they say that? It's because they recognize that what they are doing is hard and complicated and that, uh, that it requires a, a honing of their skills, a continuous kind of learning new ways and new methods. It's a, it's a, a lifelong journey that they are practicing this, this field of medicine or the, or the legal field. Things are always changing, and so they're always having to, to get better and better. I, I like that idea of practicing uh, the Christian faith, practicing being a follower of Jesus Christ, because I think it's the same thing. Uh, we go through this life as Christians, and we never arrive. We're always, we're always working at it. We're always honing our skills. We're always practicing uh, our faith each day in new ways. So I want you to begin to think of your Christian life as something that you are practicing. And there's some things about that that are really liberating. For instance, when you're practicing something, it's okay to make mistakes because it's you're practicing. Or when you're practicing something, it's okay to, to try to try it over and over and over and over again. In fact, repetition is an important part of practicing. Or when you're practicing, you understand that trying new things is a part of it. Uh, practicing, you understand, is, is hard and can be grueling, and so you don't mind that part of it because you know that there's this great reward at the other end. So one, I want you to begin to think of your Christian life as something that you're practicing. And there are certain things within that Christian life that you want to practice over and over again, things like prayer and uh, Bible study, um, worshiping God with other people. These are all kinds of disciplines that are part of your, of your practicing the Christian faith. The Apostle Paul said this in one of his writings. He was writing to a church uh, that he had started at Corinth, and he says this in his first letter to the Corinthians. He says, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last. The Apostle Paul is saying that, that the Christian life is a race. It's, it's a journey, and that we're all running it in our own different ways, and that the key to getting to the end of that race is not being perfect, it's not that you that you never stumble or you never fall. The key to getting to the end of that race is that you work at it every day, that you incorporate a discipline into your Christian life that allows you to practice and practice and practice every day, making mistakes along the way, but learning from those mistakes uh, in order to get to the end of the race and to get the crown. And so I just want you to begin to look at your Christian life in that way as a practice field where you're just getting a little better uh, every day and you're going to stumble and you're going to fall, but you're going to learn from that. And the more you practice, the closer you get to the end of your race. I hope that helps you this weekend. God bless you and have a great weekend.